So you want to be a player, but your kicks ain't fly, you got to hit us up. Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. I'm coming at you guys with a quick video, but I wanted to let you guys know that I'm kind of in a rush, so my bad if this video seems kind of fast. Feel free to pause, rewind, replay, do what you gotta do, but let's get right to this video. Today we're going to be talking about lace tips. First of all, if you wanna purchase anything in this video or if you wanna check out the site to see what colors we have available, go ahead and check out Angelus Direct's website you will also be able to find that website down below in the description. The pair on the right is looking super clean, super icy, bling blinged out. It just looks like money, sunny. But the side on the left is looking a little janky. And these little accents make the biggest differences. So like I said, this video is going to be regarding the lace tips. Peep these out. That gold against the red, red and gold, best color combo ever check it out they look flashy but the red on red it looks like like a little too much red so we have to we have to hook this pair up real quick so let me unlace them get them to where I want them and we're gonna get those lace tips nice and fresh up on this pair let's get it so now that I have everything laced up and looking fresh I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the lace tips so the lace tips come in like this if y'all are wondering it comes with super glue and it comes with the four lace tips of your choice. We have silver, gunmetal, hold up, focus, there you go. Silver, gunmetal, and gold. In this video, I will be using gold because gold is fresh on this pair. If you wanna save some money, you could go ahead and buy all three colors as a pack, and that pack will be around $18.95, I believe. And if you buy these packs individually, it's $8.95. So you do the math, you will save some money if you buy everything in a whole pack. So what I'm going to do is uncap this uh, super glue bottle we have right here. And it's super self explanatory, all you need to do is just squirt a little bit of glue up inside the aglet and I feel like there are a couple problems that some may run into. So I'm going to address it real quick. First of all, we're not going to put a whole bunch of glue up in this. You don't need a lot of glue. As you can see, I'm putting in one, two, three, four. Let's go four drops. And then we're gonna get we're gonna get intimate real quick. We're gonna do the penetration action. Oh yeah. Make sure you dip. You dip it in. And you get that pull-out game real quick. Oh god. And then we're gonna let that sit. When you, when you penetrate, you make sure that you get the glue all up on the inside, you feel me? So that's what that's doing. And then I would refrain from doing this just because I feel like it's going to be a problem for a lot of people because they might mess up. But I'm going to do it for my pair and it's optional if you want to do it for yours. Just make sure you get a little bit of glue up on the, the lace tip. And be careful because you do not want this lace tip to touch the shoe when it has super glue on it. But now that you have super glue on a part of it, you're going to slip this thing on again with the penetration action and you're going to you're going to penetrate it with the lace like so. And make sure you let this dry, just let it sit so the glue can bond to your lace tip so it doesn't fall off and you'll be good to go. Oh yeah, one more thing, you want to let these dry for about two hours. Don't start pulling them or anything like that because the glue might still be bonding. So let it sit for a good amount of time. Now that the lace tips are installed, I want to share one last tip for you guys. So as you can see, I laced it up to the way that I liked it. And that is very important because you don't want to get caught up in a spot that you can't remove your laces due to these aglets because some lace holes may be smaller than this actual tip right here. On the top left, if I were to lace it all the way up to the top and put the aglet on, there is no way I'm going to get that lace out if I ever want to maybe lace it a little bit lower or something like that. So keep that in mind when you're doing this because I don't want you guys to be left stranded with 
a big lace tip that's gonna be up here and you can't get it off because it's super glued to your laces. So keep that in mind. Other than that, I think it's a very, very easy install and a great deal to make your kicks look super clean, super fresh, and give it that kind of unique, flashy look. Can I get a thumbs up for that intro though? Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Sneakerhead in the Bay, I'm out. Peace.